Hello, this is Clayton Balmas, and I'm your teacher today here with your audio classroom here at Synmax University at SynmaxPerformanceLubricants.com. Today, we're going to be talking about the aerospace advantages for uh, advanced engine preparation techniques. So I hope you enjoy listening to this as much as I do uh, sharing it with you. Air of Motor Research and Development Group is becoming one of the nation's leaders in nanotechnology and products for use within premium automotive and commercial performance lubricants. Now, uh, we've worked with uh, at Synmax University with Air of Motor Research, and the purpose for this presentation is that to help change your thinking a little bit, take it to the next level. How can we take an engine? And the same theory does apply to drivetrain. But how do we take your engine and make sure that the coolant passages and metal surfaces are prepared to the best of their ability? Well, the group at Aeromotive has helped us with this presentation, and we thank them for it. Aerospace nanotechnology to function with complete automotive advantage requires focus and attention to every aspect. Number one is cleaning of all metal surfaces at the subsurface level. Now we've got some presentations that cover that. Coolant system protection from the dyno to the install. We, we have some presentations that will cover coolant system protection. Uh, together this will improve the heat transfer and cooling performance. Mating and protection of components. Combustion seal and efficiency improvement. And finally, working with aerospace technology through diamond-like additives to be received within the metal surface with proper heat and cold cycles. Um, when this is done, the engine will leave the shop 100% ready and prepared with all this technology providing increased performance and life cycles. We have to be able to implement these um, build procedures and it will not cost any more time or money actually to do this. The benefit will be increased component performance and life cycles. Now this has a universal application. Not only could this work with the highest levels of NASCAR and professional racing, but it can be used in all roads of motorsports and in the commercial world as well. Now Cylinder head and engine block protection begins at the dyno and then uh, can be used at the track. The problem which can be e easily overcome that happens is when the engine which is used on the dyno, sometimes they'll use plain tap water or, or maybe even a cleansed water of some tort. But it might have minerals in it and um, we need to have something with a 7.0 pH balanced water. You see, the problem is when the hot and cold temperature heat cycles gets to the aluminum and the iron pores open up, it exposes them to the water. And without chemical protection, it's going to cause surface contaminations of corrosion and oxidation, which, which will increase during storage, shipment, and install, especially at high humidity. You see, when you run the engine and you do not have a protection for steel and aluminum, all right, as soon as it comes off the dyno room floor, it's going to immediately start to have slight corrosion and rust that will take place. And if it sits for a long period of time, now the person who buys the engine has all these contaminants that's in there. Because surface contaminants of oxidization and rust, once applied, it's hard to get off, and then it will stay in the coolant system passages and get plugged into the radiator, which affects uh, coolant system cleanliness. Because surface corrosion and oxidation contamination greatly affects heat transfer capability and uh, performance service life cycles. So one of the ways to fix this is to use the water cooler product uh, in the dyno water to protect the um, surfaces of the 
iron and the aluminum or the steel and the aluminum right out of the box. Furthermore, when you do testing, it will help you know exactly what the engine is going to perform out in the field. Furthermore, the person who receives it needs to continue that chemistry by keeping it in their car as well. You see, when you do this as an engine builder, and then the coolant system passages are cleaner, then when it comes back for rebuild, you spend less time and money and effort just cleaning the block up in preparation. See, when you do this, you'll be able to increase the heat transfer capability by at least 20%. And that's through not only possibly the chemistry, but the fact is this. If you just have a 32nd of an inch of contamination on the surfaces of the cylinder head or the block or the walls, it does affect the heat transfer capability of 20% when you're talking of the surface boil of the water in the transfer. Now this is covered in our coolant system presentations. Remember, when we increase the heat energy or the BTU in the head, chamber, and cylinder wall passages, it will increase performance consistency. The key here also is we have to look at engine oil filtration technology. Now we have a presentation that talks about this as well. You need to have 100% filtration so the contaminants do not come through. Please look at the bottom of the oil filter. Make sure that there is not a pressure relief valve in there because if it's so, then the oil just runs right straight back in. You need to be able to have those um, the filtration perfect. Okay. Now. Another avenue we have to look at is the break-in component mating process. We have to select a proper uh, break-in oil. Now there's a lot of companies that have a lot of great products. I know what we've done at the Synmax. You've got to have a good group two uh, base oil, not a synthetic, a high 1500 part per million ZDDP, no molly. I don't care what people says. Molly will slick things up. It won't help seal items. Low detergency. Okay. And um, uh, you need to have this type of special formulation. The use of a diesel truck oil or a non-detergent product without the special additives will not be beneficial because you could have got away with that five or ten years ago, but not today in 2011 and beyond. So as we mentioned, the three basic elements of the break-in oil is the base oil, antel wear, and detergency package as found within the Synmax uh, break-in motor oil. Now, the other thing that's very important if you want to get to the exact aerospace level is after you've somewhat cleansed the, the parts, you need to have them sonic cleansed. This is an aerospace level, level uh, process that gets to the substrates of the metal. And, it, and it's very, very good, all right? So if you can't do that, um, that's good. But if you do, it's good to spend $100 to get it cleansed, and uh, it gets all the small metal particles out. Now, we have to make sure that um, we get the right run-in process. Now, everybody's got the things that they do, but the old theory was just keep running it and running it and running it. Well, we have to make sure of as soon as the cam is mated to the lifters and the compression rings and cylinder walls are mated, all right, which takes about three or four pulls. And this happens with the Synmax break-in oil, okay? Just stop the session, drain the oil, and change the filter. But you might say, Clayton, we just got to keep retuning the engine and resetting uh, the cam and the, and the carburetor. Well, there's an answer for that. You see... If you put in an oil to finish the dyno session, such as the Synmax with the diamond-like additives in it, be that a 30, a 40, or 50 weight oil, during the dyno time while it's bringing itself in and you're fine-tuning it, during those hot and cold cycles, then the diamond-like additives will soak into the surface. And then immediately when, when the customer gets the engine, it's already been prepared with the diamond-like additives. Trust me, he'll spend the extra, you know, 
$150 to do this to make sure it's ready to go out of the box all right and then the immediate results will be greater performance and um, as, as it's going together um, see if you allow a couple of heat soak cycles and and everything comes in in about one hour the diamond like additives will come into their own inside of the engine and then and then after about one hour of time or 4500 seconds and, a, and about two or three heat cycles at that moment then you're going to have the lowest coefficient of friction that that engine's ready to go if you do another one hour or an hour and a half worth of engine running with the break-in oil the problem is is you do not do high performance with the break-in oil the oil is not designed for it it's going to keep getting hot and it's it's actually going to start, you know, not doing everything that you want it to do. So a suggestion is to, after it's powered up, to put in the diamond-like additive oil. The ultimate goal is to make sure the engine builder can make sure the engine goes out the door with 100% efficiency. Because time is short at the track. They can't be breaking in the oil and, and doing that. You know, with, with some people, they want it ready to go, all right? And uh, then you don't have to worry about the motor coming into full compression. It's all ready set. So, the Aerospace Advantage Performance Goal. Our key is this. If we can have the lowest coefficient of friction with diamond-like additives, to maximize the heat transfer performance while protecting every micron surface of space we can find then we've done our job. Why is this? Simply because close enough or if we did one, that one more thing doesn't count at the highest levels of competition. Now here is the um, uh, Synmax diamond like racing oil alright additive oil it includes the aerospace synthetics in here and this has the ability to uh, provide the performance protection that you require with the lowest coefficient of friction and the most positive in thermal stability and engine cleanliness. So that's the end of our presentation. In summary, keep those coolant passages 100% efficient and have the steel and aluminum protected. Number two, after you have your quality break in and everything's powered up, immediately, if possible, go to the diamond like additives for the rest of the hour of setup time. During that setup time for that hour, the additives, the diamond like additives within the synthetic oil will get into the engine and, and uh, immediately lower the coefficient of friction. So when you hit the track with a customer, he's very, very happy. So, this is Clayton Balmas with Synmax University, and I want to thank you for our time together. And I encourage you to look at our other videos and our other sessions, which are online and within the website. Thank you, and uh, see you next time. Bye now. For technical test and brochure information on how the Aerospace Advantage for Motorsports can work for your race team or commercial needs, go to SynMax Performance Lubricants.com.